Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I'm your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and I'm out today on a site with my boy Dominic over here and um, we're tasked with locating a historic streetcar railway in the middle of a road. The road isn't super high traffic but it's moderately traffic and I wanted to do a video today because I've had a couple people ask me about GPS and utilizing GPS with a GPR. So it is not the only way that you can collect data with a GPR, and it's not the only way that you should collect data with a GPR, but there are definitely circumstances where the GPS is very helpful and helps you be much more efficient. Now, if you are going to use the GPS, how should you use it? A lot of people tell me that you should just go and start wandering around, and that's the big benefit, that it's super, super efficient, and that is appropriate uh, in some cases. So, for example, if I was tasked to locate this... Um, this uh, 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 buried TV cable line over here. I'm not sure you can see, but there are flags. A single line be okay to kind of wobble back and forth and just keep going, keep going, keep going, and mark it out as you're going. However, it's not the only way to do it. I recommend, as often as you can, to use smaller transects for three, and I do this for three reasons. All right, so and over here you can see kind of in our data set, I know it's probably hard to see, but you have a bunch of blue lines here. Each line, is a individual transect okay each line is an individual transect so we did 58 transects across this thing went from one side to the other side collected data stopped pulled it back and did that process again stopped pulled it back did the process again three reasons okay why going with individual transects with a gps uh, um, i think is the way to go in many situations number one is the data are much more manageable you have smaller chunks of data as opposed to trying to look. Literally, I collected data once. It was like over a kilometer long. It was almost two kilometers. And it was so hard to figure out where we were, what we were doing, even though everything was geo-referenced. You know, tagging the thing in the same exact, uh, um, in the same exact transect, you know, the response over and over again, but in the same profile, it's very confusing. But if you have a bunch of different smaller profiles that hit your target, uh, it's easier to see it in one profile and the next profile and the next profile and the next profile. So data management goes way up and efficiency, time efficiency goes way up when you're plotting your interpretations. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, which is what we're doing here, is, and again, I'm not sure if you can really see it or not, but we have some gaps in our transects, areas that we didn't go close enough. By going with individual transects, it's easy for us to go back and just fill in those gaps with additional transects. We can do one additional one, we can do 22 additional transects. It doesn't matter, it's totally up to us. Um, finally, final reason is I have to keep my boy Dominic over here safe while we're collecting. And so going individual transects is much safer when you're in a high trafficked area. Again, this is kind of moderate traffic. We got you know a couple cars coming through, we got some more cars coming through, right? So what are you gonna do when you have all these cars coming Here's another car coming, here's another car coming. Um, I've worked in much higher traffic areas than this, and individual transects are very, very helpful. So it keeps people safe, and it allows you then to go collect your transect, like now, no cars for the next, you know, 30 seconds maybe, and we can collect a transect, stop it, record that data, that information, and this is actually reason number four, but record that information, and then when the cars come, we go and do it again. When the cars don't come, we take another transect. When they come, we stop. When the cars don't come, we take another transect. When they, you know, when, when the cars do come, we stop. So it makes it, you know, safer uh, and easier to collect in that way. But the fourth reason that I just kind of realized is that if you do one single long transect and something happens to your GPR, what happens? Your transect might not be recorded. If you do a bunch of them and you get screwed up on the last transect that you did, okay, you had to deal with trucks like that. I'm not doing that with a long transect. So. If uh, 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 you screw up, you're only probably down one transect. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please share it around if you thought that it added some value or to value to somebody that, that you know. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, go over to learngpr.com. Put your name and email address in. We'll send you these videos every single week to try to help you be as good as you can possibly be with the ground penetrating radar. And make sure in the comments you give Dominic over here some props. All right, take it easy.